Hi everyone, this is Lee Jones and I am doing my uh, third video on YouTube, a board on a turntable that I'm going to cover today. It's wood that I've sanded quite a lot. Um, and uh, instead of using a canvas, um, and instead of tilting it, I'm going to spin it. So that's why I have these black bags um, uh, around my workstation. So first of all, I'm going to start um, a very tiny one ounce cup for the center. And it's going to start with a little bit of white on the side. And a little bit of gold right on that. I'm going to be very delicate with this because um, it's coming out first and typically um, what comes out last is in the center but because we're pouring I'm pouring on the circle it's going to be a little bit different and again it's only one ounce but you'd be surprised at how much one ounce will end up making. I'm avoiding the green only because um, there's a chance it may look like a rose. Just a chance. Sorry for the motorcycle. My window is open in here. That's why last night's painting drew, dried so fast. Okay, so this is how it looks after it's been poured. And um, I've got a big cup here. I know I only need to have it filled up about this much. Um, I wanted it to be clear for you though. So I'm gonna start off with white. I'm gonna go down the side of the cup um, and a little bit of the gold. And I'm gonna follow that with some pink and oh the paint is very thick it's um, a mound on a mound on a mound I'm gonna do some orange and I think hmm this is gonna be interesting I'm gonna go ahead and put some white and some pink in here I'm gold, sorry, followed with some green. So these colors are a request from my husband to use pink, orange, green, and white. Um, it's, hey, it might end up looking spectacular I think I actually have enough of the colors. Um, yeah, I can end up putting a color around it. So I'm going to leave my uh, thick orange next to me. I don't have to worry about the paint, the composition being lost. A lot of times, especially on the edge, um, we end up uh, having it fade away or it continues to run off um, during the night or as the painting is, the, the paint pour is drying, um, gravity keeps pulling it. Um, or it's too thin um, or too thick. People have all kinds of ideas of why it might be transparent or it might be where it um, no longer has a pattern on the side. Um, I think sometimes we just don't know. There's a combination of the humidity in the air, um, the altitude maybe, definitely the surface that we're pouring on. Okay, so now I take my little cup, my one little, my ounce, I'm gonna 
see if I can get it like this so you can possibly see. Um, I found it very difficult to talk while I'm doing this, so instead of trying to finish sentences, I'm just going to not talk. thing with this one, I guess. Okay, got a very wide spot there with the orange. I think there's a way I can go through it with this white here. Let's see. Once I get all the way up here to where it was, So it's good to have some kind of a thin paint around here where the orange is so that the, the paint can like flow on it. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to use green for that and instead of getting all of this um, thinned, I think I'm just going to take a smaller cup and I'm going to use my um, thinner. Um, I have 10 parts water to one part floetrol, um, so uh, it, it isn't straight water. And that way, this is a little thinner than the actual paint pour. We'll call this the extender. You really have to be careful. One of the most important things about paint pouring is the consistency of the paint, depending on the technique that you're doing. So this technique is considered a straight pour or a ripple. Um, I layered the cup and then I rippled it and that's about all I know about the names of the information. That there's so many different um, ways of describing what you're doing. I apologize for not being able to talk and pour at the same time. Okay, 
So take the little spatula, actually I call it a palette knife. Mm. Well, that green has a lot of bubbles in it. So I'm just going to pour this over. Mm. This part I find to be extremely um, enjoyable. Uh, my past, though I was a cake decorator, and um, so um, turning, using a turntable, and um, having paint. Um, smooth on it on a canvas or on a board it's very nice okay so um right now we're experiencing the paint dripping i love the sound uh, so we're stretching and i'll go ahead and torch it And it doesn't seem like the paint is really going crazy, like it's not spraying all over the room. So these paints were made yesterday afternoon. Same group of colors I used yesterday, so I don't think I'm going to have very many air bubbles to worry about. Cell development just from the heat warming up the paint. I think I will. Now, uh, usually when I do something on a turntable, I start turning it in one direction. I continue to turn it in that same direction. Um, I don't spin it the opposite direction. Um, except my rose is getting distorted, so I think I might go ahead and see what happens by going this direction. It's so tempting to to just pour it and it'll go on forever and ever because of the olive oil that's in this turntable um, so yeah, the colors aren't that bad I really like the way the pink um, rippled like the seashell look There's a um, lot of paint that seemed to have dripped. Uh, most of it seems to be the green. Just a little, very, very little on, on the orange. I think we did a good job uh, estimating how much paint we would need. Um, 